I want for Christmas is a good night's sleep. Um, I'm finding it really difficult to to sleep. This is kind of a couple of days that I've had with the power cab and I've plugged it in a couple of times. I had asked to try a power cab in the past and just hadn't got my hands on one until now. I'm pleasantly surprised. So I'll, I'll just talk about, so obviously the power cab, you'll probably have heard of it by this point, especially if you're using any of the Helix products. I think in the modeler world, there's this thing about the feel of a product and the amp in the room thing that's missing. And there's a debate whether certain FR, FR cabs can achieve that. And there's also plenty of FR, FR choices in, in the world. At the bottom end of the thing, you've got the head rush, which I think is essentially a slightly modified Alto. Then you've got things like Atomic, I think makes some wedges and all the way up to very expensive stuff like mission engineering stuff. I think they make some stuff. Friedman makes some bits and pieces and I think also Matrix is that the name of a company that makes some things. So yeah, there's a whole range of, of price points which you can pay and all that stuff. The power cap was interesting to me for a few reasons. I was also concerned about whether it would work for me or not in any case. So if you don't know, in my presets I use high cuts on the cabs quite a lot of times for my lead tones. That's how I kind of get rid of some of the fizz and darken up a tone a bit so that it works nicely with single coil. And so sometimes that goes down as far as sort of 3.9 kilohertz. It's not a complete cut, it's like a roll off. I was thinking, well, if I just turn off my IRs, what I'm going to hear through the power cab, I'm assuming is going to be awful. Um, and not only that, but that also means that I'm going to be sending out to front of house dodgy sound potentially. So the question for me was how am I going to set up the power cab to work with my Helix? You know, I don't necessarily want to rework some patches completely. Uh, I wanted to be able to kind of use the presets that I've already got and worked on for ages or maybe make some slight tweaks that will work with the power cab. The most simple thing you could do is just plug out from there into this power cab in FR, FR mode and that's certainly an option so that's called flat mode and that sounds fine as well surprisingly so none of these things particularly sound bad or anything it's just trying to find an optimum. I think the suggestion is that playing an IR into uh, the power cab is not necessarily the best way to get uh, good results. So the second thing that you can try is you can turn off the IRs in the Helix and use the speaker models built into the power cab. So um, you've got Vintage, Green, Cream, Jarvis, which is based on the Jensen, Bayou, based on that and something, uh, Essex, based on the Celestian Blue. Um, but there's also some new ones which I've got to update this, there's a few others. So I tried that, I tried turning off an IR and just going into the different speaker modes and I really like the sound of the Cream, so that's based on a Creamback 65. I thought, okay, there might be another way to do this and so what I'll show up on the screen now. So what I've done is I've moved my IR to the very end of the signal path, so this particular preset has two signal paths. The top one is the drive and the bottom one is the clean. And I decided what to do, I was going to split off just after the reverb, but before the IR. And I was going to send that out via Line 6 link to the power cab. And so what that means is that I can have, going to front of house or to my uh, sound card, the normal tone that I would use, roughly. Um, and then I can send to the cab the same tone, but without a cab. And I find that worked really well. Um, so I'll just show you how to do that. So I think before I'm going to make any recommendations about the power cab or anything like that, I want to spend some more time with it and see if I can get some good results. Definitely I think it's uh, doing a great job of bringing some of these tones to life, particularly even playing this particular preset. When I played it through the power cab and then turned the power cab down and listened to what was coming through the speakers, to me it definitely sounded and felt more like a real amp so I think it's doing things that I really like I think. Um, so I'll just show you how to do that routing thing that I'm talking about. What I have seen people talking about is that you need to feed quite a lot of level into this um, so I think you want the signal um, thing to be mostly flashing between orange and green obviously not red ideally but that apparently shows that you've got enough signal coming into the power cab for it to see it and do amplification things with it. Anyway, so here's how I put together that preset. 
I'll put some play at the start of the video, but thank you for stopping by, and I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers. So here was the starting point. So what you want to do, move your IR to the end of the chain, then uh, set up a gain block. I'm going to use stereo. Then move that down. And then what you want to do here, move your to the join, and then press your joystick downwards. And then here you want to change that to output this one here with the line six link. So that's all there was to it. And then you want to kind of um, select an appropriate level here. So I think I've boosted mine significantly because I run my volume knob around here. So that's how I'm setting up for the power cap.